Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to change the iDrive controller on a F20, F21 BMW 1 series. Um, I've never done this before and I'm not very a practical man but I imagine it's just remove the trim and it's like a plug and play situation so yeah uh, I'm on the passenger side because I think it'd be easier access to get in there and going to use a screwdriver but I recommend like a plastic tool trim remover but I've make way with this um, screwdriver a bit of 3M tape to prevent scratching on the trim so yeah let's just get started I'm gonna attack it from the back and then I'm gonna push down into this little cre crevice and then will it go up oh yeah yeah in a jiffy that's not actually that's worked out a treat oh, we're in already actually yeah so it was ah Ah, yeah, uh, as you can see, there's some brown residue and lots of dirt in there. So I'm going to wipe this all up. And I suspect that is the reason why this button is solid and not moving. So, yeah, and by the looks of it, it's just a connection and three screws. You've got one there, one there, one there. And guess it's just remove those, move the connection and then just swap over for the new one. Okay, let's resume. I think we should unplug this. Oh no, it was very easy. Actually came out super easy. Um, and then to get release the iDrive controller, we need to use a screwdriver for these screws. Um, you need a T20. And if we just work our way through, we should be able to get them all out. And then we'll have a lovely functioning iDrive controller again. Yeah. Well, okay, here is the old one. Um, yeah, menu button does, does, doesn't push. The other ones do, but the menu one does not. So let's uh, get the new one. Look at that, click, 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 lovely jubbly. Put that there, line it up. And I guess it's just, we'll, we'll work backwards now. We will get the screws back in. Put them in their slots. Don't forget to hand start them. Make sure you don't cross thread anything. Nice. I guess it's just a simple case of screwing them back up. There we go. Now it's just a case of getting a connector Make sure you line up this little ridge here in with the connector here and then just push it in and there we go, it's all plugged in. So now it's just a case of putting it back into place. Uh, I'm going to start from the back and I think it's just required a lot of welly to get these clips in. So, oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, just kind of push it into place into the corner work your way down push down really hard and um, you need a bit of force to generate it and then just work your way down to the bottom and now that is sound as a pound and if we just press this menu button hey <laughs> so yeah that was a lot easier than i was actually expecting it literally took me about two to three minutes and I'm not a very practical man, so that speaks magnitude how easy this job was. So if you've got any uh, questions, then please do feel free to comment down below. And if you like cars, then I recommend checking out my channel um, and uh, please do subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.